विजनरी ऑफ विद्या प्रसारक मंडळ आणि इन्स्पायरिंग पर्सनॅलिटी रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर विजय बेडेकर चेअरमन ऑफ विद्या प्रसारक मंडळ डॉक्टर कमलेश कमलाकर देसाई डायरेक्टर ऑफ विद्या प्रसारक मंडळ रिस्पेक्टेड प्रोफेसर्स ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग पुणे अँड व्हेरी स्वीट टॉक ॲज गिव्हन बाय प्रोफेसर आगाशे अँड प्रोफेसर चौधरी बिकॉज आय ऑलवेज बिलीव्ह दॅट इफ पर्सन स्वीक स्पीक स्वीटली इट इज गेटिंग रिसिव्हड अँड इट टचेस द हार्ट and uh, he has given very uh, sweet talk and i think it has been received by all of us my colleague and the head of uh, instrumentation engineering dr karanjka principal of this uh, institute dr shilpa kamath respected guest dignitaries and dear teacher participants it's truly my proud privilege to be a part of this uh, function two days workshop arranged for the faculty member on virtual laboratory yesterday our chief minister has said innovation is key to the progress innovation is key of the development and i believe to inspire this innovation laboratory experimentation is very necessary because when somebody performs experiment he gets inspiration he gets encouraged to do more and more he try to understand the concept behind that experiment and from that might be he creates interest in research on that regard the virtual laboratory concept started by mhrd is very relevant because a country like ours have difficulties problems and challenges might be difficulty of resources availability of good faculty members difficulty in procuring the equipments costly instruments and sophisticated laboratories there are very few laboratories where we find the equipments sophisticated equipments where the experiment could be performed and we are receiving circulars from government even yesterday we had discussion that whatever equipment you have in your laboratory should be displayed i mean should be uploaded on website and that should be known to aicte because if somebody says you don't have facility they can check on the website and verify truly if they have the equipments but to overcome this barrier to overcome the problem of expert faculties to overcome the problem of uh, cost and the sophisticated equipments i think virtual laboratory can definitely help as sir has told earlier you can have access any times anywhere to this virtual laboratory and government has decided that this facility should be made available at least to 5 lakhs teachers and students in our country because this project was launched a few years back by earlier government and even if see we see today in maharashtra there is only one college and college of engineering pune apart from uh, iit mumbai and if we say the number of nits might be more than 27 to 30 out of all these nits the only one nit has come forward i am very happy to tell you that the colleague who developed those virtual laboratory experiments in nit suratkal i worked with her for 3 years because simultaneously we we are doing uh, research work in the same laboratory the only single institute of nit and the only single institute from maharashtra like coip has come forward and uh, developed the virtual uh, uh, laboratory experiments 
I think if we go to virtual laboratory because I have visited some of the sites and uh, some of the experiments of my concern, uh, I am always uh, uh, seeing those. If we go to, I think we feel better because uh, experiment, visual experimentation, I compare with the uh, watching like uh, TV, if you see heroes and uh, heroines on TV uh, and if you see them actually, uh, what difference we find is watching actually may not be much encouraging than watching uh, virtually and uh, you get lot of things from this because on this side if you see they have given lots of things initially they have given the procedure then they have given the concept behind the experiments they have given the video they have given the quizzes they have given the assignments and along with that there is a simulator if you run that simulator, you come to know what experiment is, how to perform the experiment, what data is to be collected and after that how to make the calculations. All these things can be performed uh, individually uh, and, uh, and it gives a pleasure because if you go through the assignments uh, given in those, they are really interesting because even if you read 100 pages, you may not understand that concept, but for that to understand the concept of single one mark like uh, fill in the blanks, you may have to read once again those 100 pages. So it's really very interesting. Sir, I have gone through the chemical engineering related, some of the experiments uh, like measurement and I have told my colleague of instrumentation engineering department ki, at least small experiments to our students can be given uh, as a project and they can develop it and slowly we can do something at least if not for others at least for our students for our students benefit we can develop those uh, uh, experiments and uh, they are truly inspiring another thing i uh, wants to uh, bring it to the notice because uh, the, there is a current, there is a difficulty of uh, procuring equipment and AICT has said ki you should have all these equipment AICT should consider this ki if you have a collaboration with virtual laboratories you need not have those equipment because if you collaborate with the uh, laboratories where the virtual labs are there what we can do is we can perform all the experiments at our place and at least to have a feel actual feel of the equipment and that experiment we can have a visit a short visit to those uh, uh, laboratories nowadays there is a talk on the industrial visit and tours the initially government banned and again they have said ki okay you can visit but what i feel is rather than uh, having excursion trip we should have a trip to the laboratories a good laboratory is where we can go we can stay there and we can perform the experiments uh, provided we have a collaboration as sir has rightly said ki if we have a collaboration we at the institute of petrochemical engineering lonere although it's a 29 years old institution we say it's a growing institution because we are growing along with the uh, university dr baba sahib ambedkar technological university we are also trying to do something and in last month itself we have made memorandum of understanding with this uh, uh, institute uh, uh, with I think uh, instrumentation engineering department what we what best things we have what best things you have can be shared and on that basis when we conduct some short duration programs maybe for teachers and students uh, we call these students we call these teachers when they conduct some short duration programs we send our students and even uh, teachers even for these two days workshop my four faculty members are present here to attend this two days workshop because we learn from each other we are not saying that we are great and you are not it is not true everybody is having plus points and we should try to get those plus points from each uh, other and that that's the way of uh, progress so what I uh, believe. Sir, uh, when we collaborate with those institutions, we will get the opportunity to visit the industry. Uh, <coughs> and in, in, that, in that regard, uh, to have interaction, we, uh, we have uh, collaborated with these uh, institutions. I am very happy that many of the participants have shown interest uh, 
and I am sure that uh, after completion of because uh, the professor like uh, Professor Agash, Professor Choudhury and uh, other faculty members uh, from COEP Pune, they have come all the way from Pune uh, to uh, demonstrate on this uh, virtual laboratories and I am sure this two days workshop would be very very encouraging and the result of that after some time maybe after a few months or this end of the semester you could be uh, you could uh, develop some small uh, uh, experiment at your institution and I think that will be the output of this uh, 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 work, two days workshop. I sincerely thank uh, organizer for uh, calling me initially when last month there was a program I was called but because of some uh, hectic schedule at my institute I could not attend but uh, this time I think three to four times uh, the faculty members Professor Power and even the uh, principal they had called me and uh, I could not resist because yesterday I had a meeting in the university where Professor Choudhury was also present and uh, today was a holiday uh, even then of course uh, because we are running some other activities as well because we in our institute uh, decided to give something else other than the academic uh, and uh, we are beginning today a foreign language course on uh, German and uh, today is the inaugural in our institute but I said I have to go this time uh, to the Venetian and I am very happy that uh, the atmosphere, uh, learning atmosphere particularly is very very good and uh, even when, when I uh, came here I told Pawar ki uh, you are very well adjusted uh, in this uh, academic uh, institute uh, because although it's a remote place the place where you get happiness uh, should there, there only we should uh, work and uh, this is a very good place uh, uh, because although they have uh, institutions in uh, uh, urban areas like Thane even then uh, they have thought of our Kokan belt because Kokan belt is deprived of so many things and uh, uh, nowadays many engineering colleges are coming up with the help of the organizations uh, uh, in uh, IITs and uh, uh, renowned institutions like COEP I am sure these institutions will grow at a very faster rate. Thank you.